Hey there, in this video, we're gonna take a look at using Node, Express, and Angular, as well as Socket.io. This will allow us to have real-time communication between our Node server and our Angular client. It's gonna be a very simple example. We're only going to display one JSON object from the server being pushed down to the client. But if people find this interesting, we could certainly make a series on this and or make a course out of this. It's entirely up to you guys. Let me know what you think inside of the comment section below and let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make a new folder named socket node. We can cd into socket node. And after that, I'm going to run npm init y. What this does is create a new package.json with all the default values. After that, we'll make a new file named server.js. I'll then open this up inside a Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever editor that you want. The first thing to do inside of our server is to initialize Node. We don't need to use Express for this, but I'm simply going to add it if we decide to make this a more complex app. So let's install Express by running npm install Express. And we'll also need socket.io. Socket.io will allow us to have the real-time communication by emitting events from the server to our client. While that's installing, we can simply make a new Express by first requiring Express and then making a reference to our app by invocating the express function. We should also get a reference to HTTP as well as socket IO. To check that our application works, let's simply use app get and pass in the root so that whenever somebody goes to localhost and whatever the port that is that we use, we'll simply get the text hello world on screen. So to do that, let's pass through a request and a response. And our response will simply be, hello world. Next, we have to create a HTTP server. And usually we'd use app listen and would use express for this. But when we're using socket IO, we'll need to pass an instance of a HTTP server. That means we need to create a new server equal to http.server and pass through our app instance. We can then use server.listen and I'm gonna select the port 3000. Let's run node server.js. That will start our server and we'll be able to navigate to localhost 3000. And you'll see that when we do navigate to that address, we get hello world here on the screen. That's nothing exactly revolutionary, but it does tell us that we've done everything right so far. The next thing that we need to do is capture an instance of our socket IO. So let's make a new constant named IO equal to socket IO and pass through our server. At this point in time, the next thing to do is capture whenever somebody connects to the server. So we know that by saying io.on and using the connection event. From here, we get access to the socket and we can use the socket to emit events downstream to our client. So let's say socket.emit and we'll emit an event named hello. This event will have the following payload, simply the text or even greeting of hello Paul. That way, when we restart our server and use the socket IO client here on our Angular application, which we'll create in a second, if we look at the hello event, we will get the following object, which says greeting, and obviously the value hello poll. So let's restart our server by running node server.js once again. And from here, we can head back to our terminal. Ensure you've got the Angular CLI installed and run ng new, and I'm gonna simply call our project ng socket. This creates us a new Angular project with the CLI and installs the packages that we need via NPM. Once that has been successfully created, we can cd into ng socket 
And the next thing we need to do is install socket.io here on our client. So let's run npm install socket.io. And while it is installing, once again, we can open this up inside of our editor. So inside of our client project, we first need to head over to appcomponent.ts. And inside of here, we can run import asterisk as socket.io from socket.io-client. This allows us to listen for the socket.io events here on our client. And we can run an implement on init, which means we can import on init from Angular core. And then we can create a new ng on init function. This function is run as soon as our Angular application starts. And it's a good starting point for us to start listening for those events from our server. So let's make a new constant named socket. And we can make that equal to socket IO and pass through our HTTP colon slash slash localhost 3000. And if you remember, that's the port of our Node server. And now we need to specify the event that we want to listen for. So let's say socket.on. And if you remember, the event was hello. And then we can access that data. Let's log out the data to the console for now. And once we save this file and open up our project, and in order to open up the project, we need to run ng serve from within our client project. And we can then navigate to localhost colon 4200. That essentially allows us to access our client application, which then from our app component goes ahead and connects to socket IO. Then you can see that we have this object here in the console. If we open up the object, we get the greeting of hello Paul. And if we take a look inside of our app component.ts, that comes from our socket.on because it's essentially listening for that hello event on the server. And when the server emits that event, our client says, hey, we've found this event named hello, and this is our data, which we then log out into the console. So this has been an introduction to socket IO and using it inside of your node applications, and then accessing those events here inside of our client Angular applications. I hope you found this useful. If you have, let me know in the comments section below if you'd like to see more Socket IO. If you'd like to support the content, then don't forget to check out my Patreon link. And of course, check out paulhalliday.io for more courses and offers. If you do want half of my Learn Ionic 3 course, don't forget to use the coupon code HALF. I'll give you 50% off, giving you about 8-9 hours of content for around £8. I always update the courses so you'll find that that content continues to grow and remains evergreen as much as possible. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.